Let's take a look at the differences in Revit LT versus Revit as far as advanced modeling. Inside the advanced modeling, uh, we have uh, options available to us in Revit that are not available in LT, such as floor and roof shape handlers, uh, conceptual massing is a big one, and global parameters. I want to take a look at the floor and roof and conceptual massing here. So, as we all know, our floors are, and roofs are not always flat. We need to adjust them to have them at some sort of slope capabilities inside of here. In the background, you'll be taking a look at the Revit LT. And here I have opened uh, Revit. When I go in and select an object inside of Revit, I get shape editing capabilities. The shape editing capabilities give me the ability to uh, add slope points, add split lines, potentially select my structure, and look at this quick little video and be able to see how we can have the floor automatically adjust and modify to that slope. We do have the ability to go ahead and modify or select sub points or lines and adjust the heights of those to achieve the desired slopes. Inside of Revit LT, that capability is not available. Also, there are some instances where we're modeling and, and working on putting together our construction model inside of here to where we might want to add additional components that aren't available. Inside of base Revit, what we would do is create an in-place mass. Well, in the in-place mass, we would give it a name, and then it gives us the ability to do extrusions and sweeps and blends and voids to create any shape we might want to inside of there. Inside of Revit LT, we do not have that capability. Other features is presentation and visualization. Uh, the big thing I want to point out here is decals and being able to apply images um, such as women's restroom, men's restroom, lab, uh, placards type of information is not available. We also have a huge uh, change here with rendering. Although Revit LT you can fully render but you have to utilize, utilize cloud capabilities of rendering for that. And cloud rendering is something that does require cloud credits. Uh, to be able to do the highest level of output of rendering. In the analysis section, um, comparing Revit versus Revit LT, if you're wanting to do any type of analysis of your model, we're strictly forced to use uh, Revit as a software. Revit LT does not come with that analytical capability.